COVID-19 pandemic, we are currently facing a time of uncertainty, not just in South Africa, but across the world. In South Africa, we are under a total lockdown, while other countries are only under a partial lockdown. The South African lockdown has been extended from 21 days to 35 days. As we went into the national lockdown, we got the news that South Africa's investment rating has been downgraded. We look at the news and all we get is conflicting views. No one seems to have an answer. Things keep changing. What was relevant a week ago is no longer relevant today. And it is questionable if that which is relevant today will still be relevant tomorrow. Just to make life even more difficult, we get fake news. Self-proclaimed experts adding to the confusion. We feel worried, confused, dejected, defeated. We ask, when will it end? How will it end? What will the future hold for me? This is as if we are trying to grab hold of a wet piece of soap with wet hands. Every time we get hold of it, it slips out of our hands. The harder we grab it, the further it shoots from our grasp. Looking at it from an engineering perspective, there is just not enough friction between our wet hands and the wet piece of soap. We need some sort of positive fixing between our hand and the soap. So we stab it with a fork. Then we don't need to rely on friction anymore. We have a positive fix fixing point. Friction is a fickle thing. It changes with environmental conditions. If the soap is dry and our hands are dry, no problem. We pick up the soap easily. A positive fixing, however, does not rely on friction and so remains constant no matter the environmental conditions. Our understanding works very much in the same way. Under normal circumstances, we have an understanding of life around us. We have our routine. We have confidence in the future. We are happy and content. We can handle the bar of soap we call life with ease. But when circumstances change, the bar of soap we call life goes shooting off in every direction and we battle to get it under control. The result is that we feel worried, confused, dejected and defeated. The Bible in Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The Bible also in Hebrews 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Herein we have our positive fixing point. Trust in the Lord Jesus. He is never changing. No matter what the circumstances, Jesus is always the same. Yesterday, today and forever. Jesus is the fork in the block of soap we call life. It is when we have Jesus as our positive fixing point that we can declare with King David, Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear. Psalm 56 verses 3 and 4 When King David was afraid, he did not focus on fear. Instead, he focused on praising God as he placed his trust in him. In this time of uncertainty, do not focus on the uncertain. Focus on that which is certain. Focus on Christ Jesus. Let him be your point of reference, your positive fixing point. Focus on his word and you will find comfort. Remember the word to your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. Psalm 119 verses 49 and 50. Let us pray. Lord, we come before you as your sons and daughters. In these uncertain times, we choose not to focus on the uncertain. We choose to come before you with hearts full of praise and not with fear as we worship you. We thank you for the love you've given us, for keeping watch over us during this time. We ask that you give strength and discernment to our president and those who you have placed 
in leadership positions over us. Protect the men and women who are providing essential services. Lord, we pray especially for strength and a spirit of compassion for the healthcare workers across the world. We pray this in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 